Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And uh, the topic of this video is alpha woman traits. But before I get started with the, the video here, so my channel is more about, I want to tell you guys first about my channel. My channel is more about helping people be the best they can be in all aspects of their life. You know, not just dating relations, but also health, wealth, and mindsets, you know. And, um, yeah, uh, men and women, I want to help everybody be the best they can, you know. And, um, sure, I focus mainly on men because men need a little bit more help, even though women need the help too, but men are the leaders. So when men step their game up, the women automatically will step their game up. So, but it's all about helping men and women, you know, because... Uh, we all need help out here. Uh, but I wanted to say, uh, whether you're new or you've been around for a while, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. And if you just want to support me or if you've been around, you like my videos, hit the like button. So I appreciate it. Now let's get started. So alpha woman traits. There are a lot of misconceptions about the quote unquote alpha woman and how she is and uh, the type of woman she is. So I'm gonna give you some honest to goodness ways to tell if you are dealing with the alpha woman or a beta woman, you know? But obviously if you're dealing with the alpha, by definition, if they're not do doing with the, what I'm saying, they're gonna be a beta. So even though I'm not gonna be talking about a beta specifically, but, you know, because a lot of people get some of these traits that beta women have actually confused with what the traits that alpha women have. So I'm just going to give you some clarity and uh, give you some true alpha woman traits. First and foremost, first way, first trait of an alpha woman is that they're actually not more in their masculine. They're actually uh, the opposite. <laughs> you know, obviously, if you think about a, a masculine woman or a woman who's more in their masculine, do you think they're going to be able to attract an alpha male? No. I'm going to answer the question for you. No, they're not. They're not going to be able to attract an alpha male because it's too much masculinity. They're going to either, they're going to clash heads and they're going to separate. You know what I mean? So naturally, an alpha female or an alpha woman is going to be able to attract the most dominant, alpha, strong, select man. And she will not be able to do that if she's more in her masculine. It just won't work. The polarity just won't work. You know what I mean? So that's something a lot of people get confused. They think just because a woman is more in her masculine, she's an alpha female or alpha woman but in reality she's actually a beta woman or beta female because she is not at her peak and she's actually not going to be able to get the best she can get she's going to get a sub tier she's going to have to settle for the beta males you know if she's more in her masculine because again she's going to be more of the man and then the beta is going to be more of the woman he's going to be more submissive so She's going to be um, the man, and therefore she's not going to be able to get an alpha man or an alpha male. So that is the first trait to tell if you are dealing with a, an alpha or alpha woman. Second way, by definition, if she's not more in her masculine, she's going to be more in her feminine. You know, and more feminine she is, the more masculine a man she will attract. It's very simple, you know, you want a woman who is more feminine, you know, just a little bit easier going, you know, they're going to follow. It's just, it's going to make things easier as an alpha man or a strong man, you know, or select man, confident man, what do you ever want to call it? It's going to make things easier for you. She's going to be so pleasant. Even if she rejects you, it's going to be so easy. It's going to be so kind. You're going to actually feel like, wow. I'm, I actually feel good that she rejected you, that she rejected me. You know what I mean? It'll be 
it's not like, oh, you're this and you're that, and she won't ignore you, be, you know, hostile toward you, and no, not an alpha, not a true alpha woman. It's going to be pleasant, even if she rejects you, you know? Um, so, yeah, you want a woman who is more in her feminine. That's an alpha woman. Look for a woman who is more in her feminine. You know, and with that being said, third trait, alpha women are generally more soft-spoken. Because again, somebody who is more soft-spoken, is they're more in their feminine. And when they're more in their feminine, they'll attract somebody who's more in their masculine. Because if you got all these, you got all these women out here, they all are loud and you know just rambunctious and and they're masculine. That is a that's what men do. That is what men do to to attract, or even uh, to attract women, but also to, to scare other men, more beta males. You know what I mean? They're loud, they're rambunctious, and so oh, I don't need no man. You know, I'm the leader. I'm, you know, and again, that's part of feminism, all that stuff that's going on, you know, women today. But those are not alpha men. Those are not alpha females or alpha women. Those are beta women, the women who are loud and rambunctious. Those are not the ones you want. Get you a woman who's soft spoken, reserved, but still sexy. You could be a woman could be sexy and still be reserved and soft spoken. You know what I mean? And of course, this leads me into the fourth trait. Fourth trait of an alpha woman. She is in good shape. And you know, you're gonna see a constant theme here. People, well, women specifically, who like to take care of themselves, show off their bodies. And again, it doesn't have to be where they're, you know, wearing a low cut shirt and high skirt or anything, but it's just very subtle. They're in shape because they want to attract the most dominant man they can. Because as an alpha man, you're going to be looking for the most submissive sexual woman you can. And that, that's what smart women do when they are very, and I get it, you know. Because you get a woman who's low, wearing all that low-cut shirt and tight outfits and really just showing off her body. They're actually in their masculine. They're, and they're being more of a beta. Don't get me wrong. It will still attract. Um, it is. They're being more beta if that's all they got. And they're just trying to sleep around. And they're not even really just trying to uh, um, you know, settle. It's different if they're attracting a man. But they're going to submit. But if they're attracting a man and they're wanting to dominate that man, they're a beta. You know, because again, alpha women are in good shape because they know they're going to attract the most dominant man that way. You know, and of course, with all that combined, fifth trait, alpha women use their femininity to get what they want. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but, you know, when it comes to them being soft-spoken, when it comes to them looking good, when it comes to them being more in their feminine, they know they're going to get a more uh, attractive uh, man and a strong man and an alpha man. So with that, men are going to be more willing to do stuff for them, you know, and if they need something, they will. They'll take advantage of a, of a, of a beta male, but they'll never date him. They will never have sex with him. You know what I mean? But they'll take advantage for the stuff he'll give. You know, he'll, he want to pay the bills. They'll they'll take the money. You know what I mean? They want to they go on days. They want to fly him out. And they'll do all that stuff. But at the same time, they will not respect them. They will not date, really, really date them seriously. They will not have sex with them. You know what I mean? Even if they do get in a relationship, they're going to turn into the actual, you know, um, to the dominant one eventually going to leave. Just out of uh, out of respect for him and for them, they just they're gonna break up. They won't stick in that situation, you know. So, and they'll be waiting for that alpha male to come around, you know. Um, but again, with all that, the sixth trait: alpha women are very submissive to masculine men. I've kind of talked about this throughout the whole video, but alpha women are looking for the most dominant alpha um, man. And the strongest man. So they're going to submit 
to that man who they feel is the most alpha, the most dominant, the most submissive, or the most uh, the strongest. You know, because they want him. Because by definition, the the most feminine woman is going to want to be mating by with the most dominant man, and with that, they're gonna have the most dominant children. If it's a woman, they're gonna be at the last because they'll be more feminine. And if it's a man, they're gonna be more be at the last because they're gonna be more dominant. You know what I mean? So that is what they're gonna do. They're gonna submit to the most masculine man they can find. And if, uh, obviously he has to be a, a strong man, a confident man to actually be able to lead her into a positive direction, you know. But last but not least, alpha women support their men. <laughs> I know this is a crazy concept nowadays, you know what I mean? But alpha women support their men because they know when they support their men, their man will support them. And when their man supports them, they're going to have a better life. They're going to be able to have a more successful life, whether it's with the kids or just be able, the man doing stuff for them. Because a man wants peace. And a, and a strong, quote unquote, female, which is actually a beta, even though there's nothing wrong with a strong female, she's just going to be more in her feminine. A weak female is going to be more in her masculine. And those are the ones that men don't want, not alpha men. Betas, they'll take them, but alpha men don't want them. You know what I mean? So, definitely <clears throat> look for these traits that I've talked about, you know, in a, in, a, in a woman. These traits of an alpha woman. Look for to see if a woman has these traits. You got yourself a good one. Do a little recap here. They are not in their masculine, or they're not more in their masculine. They're actually more feminine, generally more soft-spoken, good shape. Um, you know, they use their femininity to get what they want, They're very submissive to masculine men, and of course they support their men. You know, so all definitely good things you got to look for, in, in a woman to see if you got yourself a keeper. You know, but um, yeah, that's all I got for y'all here. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know whether you agree, or disagree, or if I left something out. Um, also, uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Uh, again, this channel is not just for me. It's for you. So I want to know what you want to talk about. You know, um, of course, donations are always welcome. I appreciate donations. Any any amount counts if you found value in this video. And uh, I guess that's it. Till next week. Y'all stay safe. I'll see y'all then. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.